12 News is the official home of the Olympic Games this year, and we're exactly one year from the Winter Games in Beijing. But before that, we have to figure out what's next for the Tokyo Games, which are less than six months away, we think. And right now, everyone seems to be conflicted on how to handle the pandemic in Japan, so we want to hear from you. What do you think should happen with this summer's Olympic Games? Now, this week, the Olympics committee members, they released the first of many COVID rules that have been put into place for athletes and possibly for fans. First of all, fans will not be allowed to chant or sing during events. They can only clap, like a little, little golf clap there. Uh, <laughs> second, athletes who are not competing in event, they're not allowed to stay and watch. No hugs, no high fives, no handshakes between athletes. And under the new guidelines, athletes are also not required to get vaccinated. However, they will undergo a series of COVID tests before, during, and after the games. Now, as the new rules start to settle in, some, like the Valley's own Michael Phelps, the most decorated Olympian ever, he wonders if the games will even happen. I find it very tough to believe that they can put that many people into that little small bubble. Um, I just, I don't see it happening. I hope it does. Yeah, yeah, it's an interesting idea there. And officials say the games will happen despite Japan's decision to extend its state of emergency declaration. So this morning, we asked you to weigh in on all this. Uh, Gilbert on Facebook, he says, uh, rescheduling them, dot, 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 again. Yeah, it feels like Groundhog Day in terms of that, right? Uh, Rachel, she jumps in, only allowing only the officials, athletes, and coaches in the venues for various competitions is how she thinks that it'll be able to, to go down. So, yeah, I don't know, Rachel. I mean, when you think about something that, could, that, that contributes to a pandemic, when you think about taking a lot of people from everywhere in the, in the world, bringing them in one place, and then sending them back to where they came from, that's what the Olympics is. I mean, exactly. And you're talking so many people. Forget about just the athletes and the coaches and the staff that go with it, but then you have all the media that goes, they're going to have to do it such a tight bubble I don't know. I mean, I'm hoping it can happen. I'm kind of with Phelps on this one. I think it needs to happen. We can't push it off until next year. You can't have Olympics twice in a year. It's, yeah, I, that's not, crazy. Yeah, it's but, not going to get postponed. It would get right. canceled at this point. But it's I, there's a lot of folks invested in this, so it's going to be interesting to see how they handle it. It is. Well, this Black History Month, we're bringing you stories about leaders in the 